Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habitifillah the question was asked Assalamu alaikum I've hit rock bottom I'm staying at my wife's house I'm looking for work every day the only work I've found is to do with haram bedding and alcohol and do not want to work this job because of this I'm not getting any help from the government or Muslim charities and feeling down it is a big strain on my wife as she gets money for herself and our daughter uh, I'm really stuck praying and praying night prayer feeling really down first and foremost wa alaykum salam rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with a class with a bad and make our affairs easy and your affairs easy. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our risk and increase your risk. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Razak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitabi al Kareem, Wa man yattaqillaha yaj'aluhu makhraja, fi yarzakhu min haythu la yahtasib. Allah subhanahu tabaraka wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitabi al Kareem, and the one who fears Allah, who has taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will make for him, uh, we, will, we will provide risk for him in ways that he couldn't account for. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make for him a makhraja, a way out. So that shows us, Sahabatifillah, first and foremost, for you and I, it requires that we really fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. But taqallah mustada'atu. Fear Allah as much as you can. And putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the mutawakkileen. And that that taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we mention is adhering to the commandments of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions that's a big part of taqwa Allah azza wa jal and the fact that you're increasing your ibadah to him subhanahu wa ta'ala is for one first and foremost a fantastic Thing. And a fantastic way to come closer to Allah Because sometimes we go through a struggle and a trial and a tribulation To bring us closer to Allah And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us relief For verily every difficulty there is relief And so I found this many times myself Sometimes when I went down Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I, I was tested and then what Allah brought me out of that or the means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me out of that all you could do is just thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be grateful and happy because you went to the bottom you tasted and you just have to remember to continually to be grateful to him subhanahu wa ta'ala I've been in situations where I had no money pregnant wife telling my wife we're going to sleep in the grass tonight in, in a foreign country in the heat with no money for food or shelter and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I didn't beg anyone but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided ways and I've seen it but we forget and we often go back to our weaky man so although you believe you've hit rock bottom at least you asked your brother for some advice which is one this is a sign of good and the fact that you're praying in the night is another sign of good and a third sign of good that I see is the fact that you do feel guilt you don't want the burden to be on your wife you want to take care of your wife and daughter so this is khair. these are the first steps of khair. Now, 
you said you tried everything and all you found was a gambling, it sounds like a gambling place, like a casino, where they serve alcohol and betting. So my advice would to be even increase your ibadah even more and continue looking much more. Perhaps you'll find something that has some haram, but it's a khaf. You know, it's, it's, it's less, much less. You don't want to go to a gambling casino. You can probably find something at a grocery store. Packing boxes. Oh, wow, yeah, they sell alcohol in the grocery store. Or maybe it's mixed. That's the way it's going to be. But you have to survive and you have to get out of this situation. And perhaps you'll have to take something for a temporary period of time until things get better. While at the same time taking an active, uh, make an active uh, striving to continue to fear Allah and continue to look for the halal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا مِدَّابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, there isn't a beast on the earth, there isn't a creature on the earth from the animals, everything, except that Allah provides for it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allahi rizquha. That the risk, it's, it's on Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to provide that for sure. One way or another, but we're all going to be tested. There are some people who are tested and they have very little. But if they have strong iman and contentment, they are much wealthier than the one who has a lot of money and tons of stress and perhaps would die without when they lose just some of their wealth. So I know that's a difficult struggle because so many of our brothers and sisters go through this. But my advice is to continue because I know a lot of brothers who've been through those situations and Walillah alhamdulillah still provided for them. I don't know what country you're in. I know America, the economy right now, there's a lot of opportunities, especially where I'm from in, in Seattle, Washington. Amazon, Microsoft, all kind. There's, there's just tons of work. You know, the economy seems to be booming. So there's a lot of halal jobs. You can work at hardware stores to everything. And packing for Amazon, many opportunities. Maybe in another country, in a European country, depending on where you are, there may not be the same opportunities. But my advice is to keep hitting the ground, hitting the pavement, looking for work, looking for lawful work. And go to the Muslim schools. Go to every, anywhere you can and just see what Allah opens up for you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and increase us and increase you. Forgive us and forgive you. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.